Right, how come you know this building so well? Let's just say I've stalked every corner of it. Did you hear that? This is incredible. They've got helicopters up there. Oh, my dad. It's a it's a jump at Sterling. It's all set, Joe. You're not really going to do that, are you? Our vitals. Wink radio pulse at 96, respirations at 12. But you don't even have a CT scan. You said it yourself. Yeah, I remember. You'll be drilling blind, Scanlon. Are you crazy? What do you want him to do? Just let her die? Hey, she could die because of what he does. Just because the injury's on one side doesn't mean the hematoma's on that side. He's right. If that's a contra coup injury. Scanlon, if Mrs. Hardy dies because of what you did, you can kiss being a doctor goodbye. We could all be indicted. We could be rescued in the next five minutes. Yeah, or we could be here for hours, all right? Or he could kill us all. You're going to stand around worrying about legalities while she has seizure after seizure and then dies. We can't wait any longer. The way I figure it, I need someone to assist and someone to immobilize her head. I'll do it. I just got to get out of the chair. No, you should stay in the chair. We may have to move fast at some point. You'll need to be mobile. I do it, but I've got Falk's blood on my hands. I'll be fine. I just don't think I should touch him. I'll do it. All right, thank you, Karen. Who else? Jake. Oh, no, Dr. Marshak doesn't like dealing with live specimens, do you, Jake? Anyone who assists him is as liable as he is. I'll assist. But the decision to operate wasn't mine. How come you didn't go into law? This is a side with the blown people, all right? So I'm going to make the first burr hole here. No, 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 no. I'd position it about a quarter inch lower. Feel for the temporal artery. I observed a lot of these in my last year of med school. Then you're the closest thing I have to an expert opinion. What about pain management? We don't have any anesthesia. I thought of that too, all right? But she's not responding to anesthesia. She hasn't had a drill in well, her head yet. We don't have a choice here, Ramsey. We already sponged my tie. Okay. Especially if it's an arterial bleed. Ramsey, huh? you seem to be the people person. Do something to make yourself useful. Keep him shut up. Okay, Lucy? I, I don't know if it's okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to let go of this thing. Now, Lucy, you know I wouldn't let anything happen to you. You believe that, don't you? Yeah. yeah Doc, I do. But I just have a, a reason to be extra special. Careful right now. Lucy, <laughs> Lucy, look at me. Just look at me. Don't move. I'm so scared. I know, I know. All right. Just give me your hand. Give I, me your hand. I, Look me in the eye and give me your hand. Come on. <gasps> All right, okay. Now lower yourself down. Okay. Lower yourself down. Okay. We're right here. Okay. Right here. Do you have me? Yes. Okay. Okay. You got you. Okay. You see? Okay. Okay. Doc. Oh, you are. My knight. It's shining armor. <sighs> And you're not so bad yourself, whoever you are. <laughs> Don't mention it. Are you all right? Yeah. OK. It's quiet again. Just drill the lady, will ya? I'm ready. Eve? Got her. Karen? Ready. I want it to be known that I had no part in this. Wait a minute. Why is somebody shooting out there? He's holding some people hostage. What? Nobody knows the details. You think you can get this elevator going again? I can do it. Once I have, and I have her in a safe place, I'll come back here and help you. What about you? Where yeah. are you going to go? How are you going to get out? Don't worry about me. You just rig that control panel so that those doors open, and you'll have done plenty. Good luck. All right. Oh, Doc. I thought that I would never see you again. You should never think like that. <gasps> OK. OK, so. Where's that control panel thingy you have to rig? It's a ways up there. You might want to lose those heels. No way. I am not losing these babies. It cost me 200 bucks. Lucy, it's quite a climb. Don't worry about me and my shoes. I'm fine now that you're here. All right, let's go. Okay. Wait a minute. 
My bag cost me 250 bucks. All right, let me have it. Oh, thanks. <gasps> Doc! Come on. Daddy? Yeah, baby? Do you think birds are happy? <laughs> Do I think birds are happy? Well, I'm glad you asked that because I haven't given bird happiness enough thought. I think birds are happy. Yeah. You know when I think they're the happiest? When? When the little baby birds are flying right beside the father bird. Yeah, baby. Mommy's in heaven now, right? She sure is. Do you think she can see us better now? I, uh, I think that she uh, can see us a little bit better, yeah. But um, I got a little newsflash for you. What? Your mommy can always see you, always. Daddy? Yeah, baby. If I tell you a secret, will you promise not to tell anybody? Cross your heart. Cross my heart. Sometimes she holds my hand. background music for a delicate procedure like this, hmm? I've got the perfect thing. Dr. Scanlon's statement of purpose. Listen up, everyone. Just ignore him, Joe, or we're gonna lose her. On the night of March 18th, 1989, I was awakened by the sound of my mother's weeping. A policeman had come to the house to inform her that my father had been in an automobile accident and that he was dead. Sponge. Got it. Okay, you're doing a real good job, Joe, a really good job. He's crazy to try that. Ramsey. If I'm ever lying along the side of the road bleeding to death, I hope you're not the surgeon who happens to drive by. Oh, 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 listen to this. This is the good part. Why don't you just leave the guy alone? Sponge. Oh, would you rather we talk about you, Dr. Marshak? Hmm? The heartwarming tale of the little Polish boy who got along with test tubes better than he did people? Stabilizer. You don't know anything about me. Oh, au contraire. Sponge. I know about Danielle. I think she calls herself oh, an actress. I mean, the iodine. What were you doing, following us around? She dumped you, didn't she? Oh, what happened? You sure your little experiments? You're pushing people too far, Cooper. They're gonna start pushing back. She's not responding. We're gonna have to drill the other spot and elevate her head and shoulders. Okay. And I will never forget the sense of powerlessness I felt when I saw my father laid out in his one blue suit. You know, many patri, et fili, et spiritu sancti. Lock it out, Joe. Lock it out until Audrey is out of the woods and gonna get him. Okay. So what do you have to do? I have to isolate the wire that connects the elevator to the central computer and disengage it. What happens if you don't pick the right wire? Well, 
The elevator will fall six floors with Mr. Scanlon in it. 